The two hottest movies of this year, Barbie and Oppenheimer, are already breaking all profit records, but what interests all of us is the amazing color grading in these films. In this video, I'll show you how to replicate the same color grade in just a few minutes, and also explain why these films look the way they do. So let's dive right into it. Before we start copying the color grading, let's look at how Barbie looks and think about why the film looks the way it does. Hey Barbie. Can I come to your house today? Sure. After watching the trailer, the main idea of color grading becomes super clear. The color grading mostly uses bright, saturated and soft colors. This choice of color palette surely has an explanation. And it definitely affects how we see the movie. First of all, let's note that the main theme or visual inspiration here is Barbie dolls. They are initially associated with a certain color range, including pink, purple and other pastel colors. This already creates a certain perception for the viewer evoking associations with childhood toys and carelessness. Maybe the male audience doesn't get this vibe from a movie, but psychology surely calms down with these colors. Soft pastel shades suggest that the characters are in a world where all problems seem insignificant and where they can enjoy their lives without thinking. The director literally tells us this world is perfect and beautiful, almost toy-like. It's also interesting to note how color grading affects the perception of the character's skin. It becomes smoother, more even, and to a certain extent, toy-like. This is achieved by reducing the contrast and saturation of shadows on the skin, making it flatter and more uniform. This effect also helps make it super clear that this is a world of toys. Now let's proceed with replicating this look. I have already downloaded this video with little princesses in pink dresses from a website with stock footage. I will import this video into the video editor and drop it onto the timeline we now have two options, do everything manually or look for a lot. Let's start with manual color grading. To do this, go to more tools, select color adjustments and choose manual mode. This will give us an array of sliders, manipulating which we can precisely grade the footage. To recreate a gentle pastel ambience, we need to up the brightness, helping to subdue the colors and make them more soft. The contrast should be also slightly increased to make the kids pop against the wall. If the image was more deep, we would have needed to reduce contrast to prevent overly harsh transitions between shadows and highlights. Adjusting the contrast will add to this flat, toy-like aesthetic of the video. Next, we should increase color saturation to make the colors pop more. Highlights need to be slightly toned down to prevent excessively bright and distracting areas of the image. Yet, they should remain light enough to preserve detail and create depth. Don't overdo it. Next up, shadows should be made darker to further separate the children from the background. The principle here is similar to contrast. For scenes with more physical depth, shadows need to be dimmed to avoid overly dark patches. The color temperature should lean towards warm tones to create the comforting and friendly atmosphere. Also, the tint needs a subtle shift towards pink to further align with the Barbie theme. After all these adjustments, the final video goes from this to this. Personally, I think this video could seamlessly fit into Barbie trailer and no one would spot the difference. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to work with colors in Movavi Video Editor, even when you do it by hand. But if you don't want to move sliders around yourself, the program has a lot of filters and built-in LUTs to choose from. These built-in LUTs make it easy to get your video looking just how you want with just a few clicks. The Video Editor is a part of the Movavi Unlimited subscription, a comprehensive and user-friendly platform that combines the best of Movavi into one accessible package. With this subscription, you gain access to video editing, photo editing, screen recording, file conversion, and more. The subscription includes nine programs and one year of unlimited access to the effects store, all for the price of a single app. Using Movavi Video Editor is incredibly straightforward. Whether it's managing your footage, creating effects for your videos, or retouching photos, everything can be done with just a few clicks. Unlike its pro counterparts, Movavi Unlimited runs smoothly even on average computers, making it accessible to almost everyone. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. 
folks, Movavi has got a deal that's too good to pass up. An 80% discount on all the apps and an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't want to miss. But Barbie isn't the only big thing right now. Christopher Nolan's new movie, Oppenheimer, is a big deal too. This is a serious biography movie and the colors in the film match that. The colors used in the trailer set a mood that's right for a serious and tense movie. The colors are not very bright and darker, toned down colors are used a lot. This helps create a feeling of sadness, tension and gloom which is perfect for a movie like this. The colors are so toned down that they almost look black and white. This might be to show how serious and tragic the events in the movie are. Pale and not very bright colors can make us feel sad, down or even hopeless, but even though the main colors are cool, toned down ones, there are parts in many of the trailer shots that stand out with warmer colors. This can add some variety and contrast and it can also draw the viewer's attention. Maybe the director used these colors to show the contrast between the warm, human side of the main character and the cold, harsh reality of his work and the atomic bomb. Warm colors can show humanity, feelings and personal relationships, while cool colors can show science, technology and the harsh reality of war. Alright, let's dive in and recreate this look. We'll use a video clip of scientists working in a lab, which aligns perfectly with the movie's concept. Heading back to the manual color settings, our first step is to dial down the brightness. This creates a subdued, muted visual look that effectively draws out the somber atmosphere. Next, we need to lower the contrast. This makes the video look heavier and gives it a serious feel, like everything in the shot is part of something much bigger. It might sound a bit strange, but that's what we are aiming for. The next step is to turn down the color saturation to make the colors look less bright and more faded. At the same time, we need to make the highlights brighter. This makes the brighter parts stand out more and helps us see the texture of things in the shot better. It's also important to darken the gamma a bit. This gives the video a gritty, dirty look, making the shot feel heavier and more solid. We also need to make the shadows deeper. This adds more detail, creates a darker look and highlights the texture and depth even more. The temperature can be left unchanged, but depending on your video, you may need to shift it towards cooler tones to create a feeling of coldness and distance. Finally, we need to adjust the tint a bit towards green or blue. This helps to bring out the cold, gloomy feel and that's it. Look at the result. It looks just like the movie, doesn't it? Besides doing all this by hand, the video editor also has a preset that works really well for this. And here it is, it looks almost exactly like what we did manually. So if you want to get this look, just use this lot. Color grading is like a magic trick in movies. It helps create the mood and feel, brings out emotions and helps you pay attention to important parts. Without color grading, a movie will look dull and lifeless. So remember to always use color grading. Thank you for watching, I hope you found the video interesting and helpful. Leave comments, ask any questions and I will see you in the next video.